All right, this is a quick video just to show you guys how to test one of these remotes to see if it's working or at least putting out a signal. This is an infrared remote that's normally used for spy clock cameras and other such devices. Um, it has a uh, infrared LED on the front there that when you press a, any one of these buttons down, it emits a signal. Now normally you can't see that light with your own eyes. So if you press this button down, any of these buttons, you won't see anything. However, there's a way you can test it really quick just to see if it's working using a regular uh, digital camera. Um, this usually works on almost every digital camera that I've seen anyway um, because the lens on these digital cameras are sensitive somewhat to infrared light. So what you do is you go ahead and turn your camera on. This is just a Fuji film. And it's got a LCD screen on the back. So you need one of those to be able to see. Okay, so now we can see infrared light by pointing the, uh, the uh, remote control at the camera lens and just holding one of the buttons down. And you can see there is some um, infrared light being emitted from that LED that you normally otherwise, otherwise wouldn't see with your own eyes. It's kind of out of focus, but that's okay. So you can see that that uh, light being emitted. Just hold on, hold all the buttons down, and you can see that there's a signal being emitted. So that's one easy way just to check really quick. That's not a foolproof way to see if your remote works because it could be emitting a signal that's not right or that's incorrect or something like that. But that's usually not the case. Usually, if you have light coming out of there, it's going to be the right thing. So another thing you can try is if you're not getting a signal, is to take the battery out by pushing this tab over which unlocks the sliding battery tray and when you pop this battery out you'll see that it's a CR2025 battery, lithium battery and it's a 3 volt so when this thing comes full brand new it's usually about 3.5 volts or so so you can test that using a regular multimeter which we have here you just take one lead and I believe that's the positive, yeah the positive is on top. It doesn't really matter. You can hook it up either way really. It will just show you a negative value if you hook them up wrong. And we're getting 3.46 volts. So you know the battery is good. So this battery is good and this remote is good. And I put it in backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing you need to make sure. Make sure you don't put this battery in backwards. So now you've learned a couple things today. There we go. <laughs> so that's how you test your spy clock remote control.